Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. First off, I apologize for this wonky setup. I tried my best to make it sound as best as possible and look as good as possible, and it... I did what I could. Anyway, so special, welcome to a very special booster box opening of sorts. I've done these videos before in the past and on stream, but this one is actually super special because this was sent to me by someone who uh, watched the the show. I'm sure a lot of people really enjoyed the Magic Chandelier video series, and I know it's over, but uh, I, I got this box and I, I really wanted to open it up and show it uh, on camera because I'm super excited about it. Uh, so this came from Andrew Spurlock, who says, Dear Pro Jared, Entombed in this box is approximately 636 magic cards ranging from the beta to weatherlight sets and two original expansion boxes. Also Entombed is a GameStop bag with two cards that I consider to be too special to put with the others, as one is an old Vanguard card, and a rather broken one at that, and a card signed by the artist. I also included one of the copies of Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven, one of my personal favorite RPG games, which I hope you're able to enjoy. P.S. The cards are not a bribe to play it. Keep up the solid work, Andrew Spurlock. So first off, thank you, Andrew Spurlock, for sending uh, this box of cards to me. Uh, and that's, that's why I was so excited about it, because he had a bunch of really, really old cards, and I imagine a lot of them that's in here also showed up in the Chandelier series. So I haven't looked through them at all yet, and I wanted to save my like general reactions and excitement for this. Which, by the way, if you guys want to send any more cards or any other games, uh, I'll include the link or the address to the PO box here and in the description. Boop! There you go. All right. So first off, uh, there's okay. Well, here's Might and Magic Six. Uh, this says Hunter's copy, and your name was not Hunter, so now I'm suspicious. I have actually never played this one, so. I'll hold on to that. Thank you, sir. Okay, so this was the GameStop bag that he was talking about, and he said I had two... I'm gonna try to be careful. Special cards in here. And there we are. So... Oh. Oh, okay, so this first one is the card Foxfire. Uh, this is from the Ice Age set, and it looks like it was signed by the original artist, Margaret Organ Keen. Instant speed, two and a green, untapped target attacking creature. That creature neither receives nor deals damage in combat this turn. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So you can kind of use this to save your own dude or against one of their attacking creatures and just stop their attack. Dude, thank you very much for that. That's awesome. And this one, he called it a Vanguard card? Uh, this is... This one's kind of interesting. So it's like a, it's a huge card, like compared to the normal sized one. Character, uh, your creatures can't be the target of your opponent's spells or abilities. That, yeah, that's broken. That is way too good. Uh, it says down here that your starting max hand size, your starting and maximum hand size is negative one. And down here it says your starting life is plus four. So is this like a, uh, is this like a commander? before Commander existed? I'm actually not familiar with these at all. They're cool, though. We should bring these back. Do, like, a character fight. This is Ertai, who, uh, after serving his apprenticeship under Baron of Toleria, Ertai graced the Weatherlight crew with his presence at the ship's resident wizard. He realizes that few recognize his greatness, but then how could they when they lack his insight and wisdom? So, sweet. All right, yeah, I'm going to put that back in the bag. Yeah, I don't... If anyone else is familiar with those, feel free to tell me. I'm sure... I mean, I can always look it up on Google, too. As can you guys. But, I, yeah, I actually don't know those at all. Anyway, into the actual box stuff. So, first off, I saw these. These are the... Um, so, these are two... Uh, these, these were starter deck boxes. And uh, so, when you would buy new decks, this is what they would come in. They would have 75 cards in these... And uh, they were completely randomized. It was basic. There was pretty much 15 cards of each color, as it means to be like check out all the colors. Don't you want to explore them just a little bit more? And these are the boxes that they that they would come in. Yep, published 1994. Magic: The Gathering is the first in the. Deck Master series of collectible trading card games. They never did another one because Magic just kind of 
worked out. This was the only one. Uh, price down here, seven ninety five. Man, if only, huh? If only. Oh, uh, there's the. Uh, you can also see the old Wizards of the Coast logo on the side there. It's just a mage tower at, on a coast. Dude, that's awesome. I actually like these a lot. Very cool. I'm gonna gently set those aside. Okay, so now... Oh, yeah! So now... I'll, oh, these are a bit fragile. So I'll try to gently show them. Okay, so here's, like, one of the things they sent. This was a, um... This is a Fallen Empires. This is what a box of boosters would come in. Like, they, they have not changed shape or form very much, but this is a Fallen Empires box. And there's another one in here with some of the cards spilling out. Try to be gentle. This was in Antiquities. Here we have an Antiquities box. I'm amazed you kept these actual boxes. It has more than 75 new cards to add to your existing decks. Cool. How many cards does this one have? Does it say? More than 75! There's so many cards! Alright, so we'll go through these one at a time. We'll set this one over here. Uh, oh, first off, here we go. So these are the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so these are the original instruction manuals that would come inside the starter deck boxes. It would just have one of these manuals right in there, and this is what... This is how I learned to play. Aside from my brothers, is looking at this little manual as it gave very basic instructions. If you manage to summon a creature last turn, you can now attack with it. To do this, tap the card and announce your attack. Your opponent must then decide whether and how to block the attacker. It's got really basic pictures in here. Try to tickle, find a good one. Oh, the mana chart. Black magician's power stems from swamps and bogs. Black magic is the magic of death, the often self-destructive floor. Black magic is regarded by most as best left unknown. The traditional enemies are black, are white and green. Description of all the different colors. I have not seen this in decades. This is cool. Here's a fake version of Herloon Minotaur that tries to describe all the different parts of the card. Oh yeah, so there we go. Ogre versus two goblins. Those goblins are one ones versus a two two ogre. They would trade out. Okay. That's enough of that. Those are the manuals. These these are super cool too. I actually kinda happy to see these. And then these are Did you actually separate these? Oh I think so. Yeah it looks like these are actually already separated by color. Yo dope. Oh there's a third one down here. It's another Oh, is this an update version of it? Or an older one? Yeah, it's like another manual. Oh, it must be a newer one. <laughs> Check that picture out, though. Yeah! What's up? This is how you learn. Check out the crawl worm. That's all the information you need right there, baby. <laughs> Alright. So these are actually kind of separated by color, so <clears throat> we'll just go through them. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So I'll just grab this deck here, which looks like... I'll put this off to the side. So it looks like here we got a bunch of artifacts and some reds that got mixed in. Ooh, alright. I'll set those aside for whenever we get to red. So here are some artifacts. I don't think there's going to be any, uh... Any moxes or black lotus in here. That'd be incredible. Uh, so this little flag symbol, that's, uh... Uh, that was Alliances. Is their glider as a 2-1 flying for 3? Can't be assigned to block. I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, just ones I kind of remember or ones I have personal connection to. Armageddon Clock I recall quite a bit. Cost 6, puts 1 counter on it during each of your upkeep. At the end of your upkeep, each player takes damage equal to the number of counters on it. Any player can spend 4 mana to remove a counter. So it just slowly kills both of you. <laughs> Unless someone pays for it. Oh, these actually might be in alphabetical order, too. Hey, a battering ram! Saw that uh, show up in Chandelar. I don't think I ever used it, but it was there in the shops. Hey! hey yeah, there we go! Got black mice! That's awesome. Is it good? Not especially, but I sure do enjoy it. 
It does not have the date down here, so this is either... I'm not sure. Either unlimited or revised. I forget which is which. Uh, oh, here's a, some extra lands. So you can tap to give you colorless, or pay one to give it black, or pay two to give it blue or red. So it's a really bad land. Thanks, Homeland set. No one likes you. Oh, a clay statue! Used that quite a few times. That was the 3-1 uh, regenerator. Copper tablet. Copper tablet does one damage to each player during his or her upkeep. Oh, and the cursed rack! Oh, yeah, I could try to make my combo deck again with black vice and cursed rack. What else is in here? Desert. Use some deserts for a while. The dragon engine. Felden's cane. Fire diamond. Oh, Fountain of Youth. I remember this one. I remember my brother's friend liking this one a lot because it costs zero. And it's like, you just pay two and you, you gain a life. That's awesome. It's not awesome. It's worthless. The Grape Shot Catapult. Had that show up. Ivory Cup. Some more different lands. Sacrifice a creature during your upkeep to gain life equal to creature's toughness. This is from Legends. Living Armor. Sacrifice living armor to give a creature a plus zero plus X counter where X equals to his casting cost. Mean. Mishra's War Machine. Hey! Ornithopter. Good old zero two flying for zero. This is actually currently in standard. So if I ever made an Ornithopter deck, I could use these original cards, which is super exciting. That's probably my favorite thing about getting these older cards, is being able to use it in uh, current sets. Tonos' Weaponry. Oh, ooh! A Black Border version of the rack. So this one came from Antiquities. Was the other one uh, a different set then? I know they reprinted cards pretty often. Where was that? Black Vice. Oh, I'm sorry. This is oh, sorry. This was Cursed Rack. Cursed Rack makes them uh, discard down to four during their discard phase, so it just limits their uh, hand size. Whereas the Rack is the one that deals in damage. Sweet. Triskelion. Triskelion's super good. Hers is Chalice. Hers is mine. Oh, this, look at this. So. One of the things I miss about uh, current Magic sets is um, these both came from the same set. They're the exact same card, but they had different they had different art. They mostly did that for lands, but I like the fact that he's had different art for them. Well, here's the third Urza's Mine. Oh, yeah, so this is a... Uh, they're all antiquities. This has got the black border, so... You got this one early on and these later. Another Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant. The other Urza's Tower. There you do! Remember as a kid, I had the the mine and the power plant. I can show you exactly this one. I had this power plant, because I remember the sphere. And the mine was the face mine. Where's like the gold dude just being like... Rawr. Yeah, I had this... This mine, this power plant. But I was missing the tower. For whatever reason, I just never got the tower. And the tower is the best one. Because if you have that, you can give yourself three colorless mana. Whereas the other one just gives you two if you have all three in play. Different versions of the tower. Wall of Spears, baby! A first strike wall. Wizard school. Oh, the Ocean Soldier! The 1 4 Vigilance for 3. And here's 3 from right here. Faced many of those. Cool, man. Alright, well, those are the uh, artifacts. Uh, what color is in here? Oh, green! Alright, so we'll see what green cards he sent in. Might remember some of these a little bit more. Gothian Pixies. Oh, weird. The Gothian Tree Folk. Balduvian Bears. Two, two for two from Ice Age. They're the exactly the same as Grizzly Bears, but they have a different name. So you could have four Grizzly Bears and four Balduvian Bears in your bear deck. Oh, Carapace. I actually remember liking Carapace a lot. It's from the Homeland set, which is widely considered the worst set. Oh, this one's got like a weird 
Mistprint. See how the color kind of fades towards the top? Gets a little more gold. Cat Warriors. Cocoon. Craw Giant? What the hell's a Craw Giant? Seven mana for 6 4 Trample Rampage 2. What the hell is Rampage? I don't remember what Rampage was. Shoot. Dang it, I'm not, that's gonna bother me. Yeah, baby! There he is! Oh, dude, this is awesome! This is a Black Border Crawl Worm! That, oh man, this is very old and certainly been played a little bit. Oh, that's hell yeah, my, my dude. That is so cool. Check out this Crawl Worm, baby. Dude, that's awesome. Good old Crawl Worm. Uh, some boars? For those of you who don't know Magic and has just been watching the series, it's kind of cool to like see those uh, uh, those digital versions kind of coming to life. Like seeing like the original cards here in front of you. I think that's super cool. It's okay if you don't. Land Leeches? Metamorphosis? That is terrifying art. But also kind of rad. Those of you to sacrifice a creature to help summon another. Pretend a lion! Aw, look at him! When he attacks, defending player may play one blue to have it deal no damage this turn. And so if you're facing blue, a natural enemy of green. Oh, Night Soil. I actually remember using this card quite a bit. Where you, uh, yeah, remove two creatures from any graveyard to get a 1-1 one, one green creature. It's a dope enchantment. A power Leech. Where you gain one life anytime they tap an artifact. Rabbit Wombat! He's a zero one for four, but he gets plus two plus two for each enchantment on it, and he has vigilance. So you enchant the shit out of him. It becomes sweet. Some scavenger folk, scrib sprites, the one one flying for one. Shadow Dendryads. Oh, shrink! They that, they imprinted this one quite a bit, because I actually remember this art a lot. For one mana target creature gets minus five, minus zero till end of turn. Just shrink them down. Spectral bears! They're like normal bear, except they're three threes. Uh, but if they control no black cards, he'll never untap. So it's only versus black enemies. Spore Cloud! I remember having this card. Tap all blocking creatures. And then nothing untaps during your next turn. So it's like a cloud with a... Uh, you can't untap effect. Or not cloud. Fog. Sorry. Selenite Druid... Titania Song. I actually remember using having this card too, but not understanding it. It says, all non-creature artifacts in play lose their usual abilities and become artifact creatures with toughness and power equal to their casting cost. Oh, sweet. So you just play a bunch of artifacts, and then you make them come to life using Titania Song. Wall of Wood! Yeah! Still love Wall of Wood. War Mammoth. 3-3 three, three Trample. Willow Fairy. What's up, dude? Your butt's looking good. Oh, here's a different Willow Fairy. Yeah, both from the Homeland set. So like I said, both creatures, both from the same set, but just have different art. That's cool. Willow Princess and Yavimaya Ants. 5-1 Trample Ants for 4. Cumulative Upkeep 2. They can, And they have haste. So it's like a... Slightly worse version of Ball of Lightning, only they could potentially last more than one turn. Now right, that's all the green cards. Up next is oh blue. The top card's a real strong one. Right in the top here we got boom air elemental original black border version two, so that's pretty sweet to see. Again, probably a beta card. Blue elemental blast. Go oh, control magic. My greatest ally, yet also my greatest foe. Oh, drowned! This moon here means it came from the dark side. I this is why I liked about this card. This is this is something really cool to see back in older Magic. Like this is a blue card, but his special ability costs black mana to activate. And this was they didn't do this a whole lot way back then. So this is, was made cards that had this super unique and super interesting to see. So I like seeing that. Bring that back. Energy tap. Erosion. Some feedback, fish liver oil, fog elemental, one island. Jump. I love jump. This target creature gets flying till end of turn for one blue. Just love that card. 
There's that magical hack. Merfolk Raiders with phasing. Power leak, power sink. Lots of power sink. Hey, Prodigal Sorcerer, what's up, my dude? Oh, yeah, so this is an older version. As you can it doesn't even have like the little arrow symbol for the tap, it's got a uh, sideways T. Oh, related, while I'm thinking about it, you know that uh, pro Jericho Sorcerer art that I use for uh, all the thumbnails? Uh, if I made that into a shirt, would you guys buy that and wear it? Be honest with me, and let me know in the comments. Because if, if enough people would, I'll do it. Have it wear pro Jericho Sorcerer. Psychic Venom. Recall, this is awesome art. Oh, sorry. From Fallen Empires. You can kind of see her under boob there. It's pretty sick. New constructions. Remove soul. Sea Scryer. Some of these cards I've never even seen before. Sea Serpent. And so, good old dude, Siren's Call. Beta version. Unstable Mutation. Used to love that one a lot. Unsummon, of course. Oh, Beta Wall of Air! Yeah! Wall of Vapor? I actually don't know this one. Damage dealt to Wall of Vapor by creatures is reduced to zero. And it's a zero one. So you have to use direct damage to kill it. And some water elementals. Awesome! Well, that is it for blue. And in this box is a little bit of red. Take these. I had some extra red boys over here. Let's see if I remember any of these. Active Volcano. Destroy target blue permanent or return an island to its owner's hand. Just destroy the creature, dude. For one red? That's actually awesome. Aladdin! Gain control of target artifact. Lose control of target artifact. If Aladdin leaves player, you lose control of Aladdin. I think... Was Aladdin on the ban list? Way early on for competitive magic. I think Aladdin was on the ban list at one point for being able to take... Uh... Artifacts. Oh, look, it's a dog! <laughs> For zero mana, he gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. But every time you do this, you have to destroy one of your own artifacts. So he eats artifacts. Balduvian War Makers. This just looks like the artist's family. He just, like, told them to pose. <laughs> it has Rampage 1. I wish I remember what Rampage did. Brass Claw Orcs. Oh, different art for Brass Claw Orcs. Burrowing. Target creature gets Mountain Walk. Disintegrate. Dwarven Warriors. Give tap to give target creature with low power on Black Hole down a turn. Fire Drake. Fireball. Yeah. Fire Breathing. A couple of those. Ooh. Flare. Deals one damage to target creature or player. And you get to draw a card. Flash Fires. Destroy all planes. Goblin Artisans. Goblin Churden? Is he just cobbles together a creature from like a billion different creatures? Sacrifice a goblin to regenerate any creature. Orcish Conscripts. He's a 2 2 for 1 mana. But has to uh, attack with like two other people. <laughs> goblin Digging Team can destroy a target wall. Goblin Grenade. Goblin King. Goblin Ski Patrol. I'm like a goblin deck. With all these gray ogres. 2-2 two, two for 3 mana. Sucks. Hill Giant. 3-3 three, three for 4 mana. Curloon Minotaur. Iron Claw Orcs. Mons Goblin Raiders. A Mountain Yeti. It's got protection from white and mountain walk. Get through all those white mountains. Orcish Mine. Raging Bull. 2-2 two, two for 3. Also sucks. Whoa, this red elemental blast. The printing on this one is really weird looking. It's got like a deeper red. Looks cool though. I actually kind of like it. Shatter. Sisters of the Flame. Stone Rain. Uthden Troll. Remember this boy? Veteran's Voice. Wall of Fire. Wall of Heat. Wall of Opposition. And then the uh, side cards kind of fell off to the side were uh, Joven. It will have one lightning bolt and another Mons Goblin Riders. Ew. Alright, so that's all of red. 
And are these all? These are just extra. Oh, a bunch of extra plastic card holders. Hold on, this is important. You gotta use these to protect your uh, super valuable, super important cards. Like any ones that's worth money, you want to really maintain the uh, the condition on them. You make sure you put it in uh, one of these bad boys. So I'm really thankful that he sent a lot of these to me because there's had some pretty valuable cards in here that you don't want to mess up at all. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Yep. All right. Cool. Looks looks good. All right. Sweet. Oh my God, Andrew! I'm so excited for these. All right, so this is a antiquities box. Uh, it looks like these kind of got a little more disorganized, but I'll, I'll try my best through this. Uh, this which side do I go? Oh, oh, here's black. There's some some white there. Some black and white in here. These got a little a little mixed together. Do what I can here. <laughs> These were, I believe you when, when the, in that these were alphabetized. Maybe not so much anymore. Duh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We also got gold cards in here. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's set those aside. Also, uh, Andrew, I appreciate all the effort you went into to make sure that, uh, you try to protect these as much as possible, like with the card sleeves or the, the bubble wrap. These are all black. Okay. Alright, I think I got them. Ah, okay. So let's do let's do black since I got them right here. This there's a hefty stack. So there's mostly black and white in here. Let's see if there's anything in here that we recognize. Animate dead. Oh, armor thralls! Yo! I could not remember for the life of me what set the thralls came from, because I used to have a crap ton of thralls. And it's Fallen Empires. This dude's awesome. You can sacrifice him to give any creature a plus one, plus two counter. That's so dope. There's like armor thrall, basal thrall, mind stab thrall, uh, order of the in Eben, order initiates of the Ebon Hand. Are they going to be in here? Barded backworm. Target green creature blocking the worm gets minus one, minus one until in a turn. He's got a lot of black mana, so you can just do that until they die. Basil Thrall! Hey, there he is! So you can sacrifice him to give yourself two black mana. Okay. Bog Imp. Bog Rats can't be blocked by walls. <laughs> Cadaverous Knight. Oh, I remember these ladies. Kuambaj, which is only because like the art was super cool. They're one three for two black mana. Tap them to deal one damage to target creature or player. But then also deals one damage to your opponent's choice. That's awesome. Yin yang effect. Also nice cleave. Oops. Got some dark witch rolls up in here. But yeah, I'm on my way to start playing uh, Legacy or, or Vintage or whatever it's called. Fear. Watch out everybody. Here's a uh, reprint of Fear and Ice Age. Feast of the Unicorn. Target creature gets plus four, plus oh, till end of turn. I had this card for a long time, and again, I thought it was awesome. It's an enchantment. It's like your creature gets plus four, plus oh. That makes Crawl Worm a 10-4. That's so good. No, this is not good. Oh yeah, this is the one. So it's like a part one. In part two, he's already snapped off the horn. He's got to chew on the horn. Fevered Strength, Giant Slug. Oh, Gloom! White mana spells cost three or cost three more to cast. Uh, did I get this in Chandelar at all? I don't remember if it was in there or not. It should have been, because this is a good card. Just, you know, to counter white. Raise dead, sacrifice. This is intense art. This man does not look like he wants to be a part of the sacrifice. Scathe Zombies. Grave Robbers. Ah! <laughs> Greed! Uh, that one card that's always active in the Black Castle. You can tell he's greedy by the way he bites his money. Asbram Orgris, Howl from Beyond. 
Him to Turak. Kajelardin dead. Krovikin fetish. That's just ears and eyeballs and a necklace. Oh, mind stab thrall! If he attacks and is not blocked, you may sacrifice it to force the player to discard three cards. Tight. I would do that. Two mind stab thralls and merc dwellers. Oh, here I right hear! Or Order of the Ebon Hand! There's also initiates. The order is a 2-1 protection from white for two mana, and they can pump themselves and make them first strike, so it's good all around. Paralyze. Pestilence. Pit scorpions. Oh, play <laughs> oh my god, how many plague rats are here? Oh, it's awesome! Plague rats is a hilarious card. They cost three mana, and their power and toughness is equal to the number of plague rats, plague rats in play. This includes your opponents, so you just try to get out down as many plague rats as possible. See how big you can get them. He's got like eight of them right here. Skate zombies, scavenging ghoul, simulacrum, soul burn. It's kind of like drain life, only you can put uh, black or red mana into it, but you gain life if you use black mana. I had this card as a kid too. Spirit shackle. Oh, oh, a lot of swamps! Oh, that's cool. I love the original art swamps. I might put these in- Oh, we got the different art too! Oh, that's- that's freaking that makes me happy. Oh, all three? Those hella swamps. Oh, some beta swamps! Yo! Dude, oh my god, that is freaking rad! That's so cool! So yeah, I, would, I love to use, like, old lands in my new decks. Uh... But I don't want to use a bunch of the white border ones because they really, really stand out. And if I could have them all the black border, I would. So just seeing that is super freaking cool. Do you give you an idea how old these are? They don't even have the tap symbol yet. It just says tap. Oh my god, that's freaking cool. Dude, thank you. Hell yeah, swamps. Tackle maggot. Throw a retrainer. Sacri target creature gets plus one, plus one. And you can sacrifice the... Uh, Enchantment to regenerate them. Oh, some terrors! Nice. Tortures. I remember this torture, because I, I just thought he was just drawing on his back, and I didn't understand what it meant. Oh, yeah, some unholy strength. This is before uh, parents got mad and forced them to remove the pentagram, so this is certainly... Uh, this actually might be unlimited, not even revised. I think they started taking them out at revised or fourth. I don't remember which. That's sick. Wall of Bone, Wall of Shadows. And a weakness. Super cool, man. Seeing all the swamps is really exciting. Good stack of black right there. Alright, we also got a stack of white. Just a bunch of them here. Let's see if I remember any of these. Don't remember her. Oh no, I do. I'm sorry. I did not have this version. But I absolutely had this version, because she looked like a mean teacher. And I never played her because of that. You tap her to give her plus zero, plus six, till end, plus three till end of turn. Why though? That's not helpful. Abu Jafar? A zero one? Amru Kithkin? Saw those pop up a lot. Artifact Ward? Asian bureaucrats. Yeah, I had these guys too. I guess I had a lot more homelands than I remember. Battle cry. Benelish hero! Yo, a beta Benelish hero. Tight. Oh, and then a revised one. Benelish missionary. Blood of the Martyr. That's cool art. Direct all damage. You may redirect to yourself all damage from any creatures. So you take all the damage from your creatures. That's nice of you. Blue Ward. Brainwash. Castle. You can see uh, the different... Oh, yeah, there we go. So I think this is revised, and this is 1995. So this might be 4th or... Yeah, this is 4th edition. You can see how they kind of cleaned up the language and uh, improved the uh, printing of the art a little bit. Circle of Protection Blue, Circle of Protection Red, ooh, a beta one. Circle of Protection White, oh, Combat Medic. Combat Medic's really good. 
Oh, yeah, some beta planes! Got three of them right in there. Reverse damage. <laughs> Reverse damage. She's getting hit by a lightning bolt, and she's just like, mm, it's like a shower. Oh, there's another happy matron. Samite healers. Yeah, <laughs> Sarah Angel! Yo, I don't think I ever actually owned one myself as a kid. Um, everyone else I knew had one. Uh, I'm pretty excited to have my own now. Thank you for the Sarah Angel. Sarah Inquisitors, Sarah Paladin. Soraya the Falconer, Squire. This dude sucks. Four Elephant. Rally. A blocking creature plus one plus one. Certainly had this. Rashka the Slayer. Oh, she looks awesome. She's a legend. You can block creatures with flying, so she has reach. If she blocks any black creatures, she becomes a 4-5 until end of turn. Red Ward, Glyph of Life, Green Ward, Guardian Angel. What are these? Oh, oh reverse damage, a Dark Ritual, Resurrection, and a Repentant Blacksmith. Oh, did I just miss a stack of black? Or is this... Oh, I think this is part of the stack of white that's kind of mixed in here. Oh, there's way more black to go through! Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Here's a little bit more white, like a uh, Mesa Pegasus. And some other cards. Sorry, these got all mixed up. I was trying to go through them by color, but you know. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, back to black for a second. Uh, Death Grip! Draining life, yeah! Erg Raiders, Fallen Angel. Notice more fears. Just a lot of fears. Keepers of the Faith. I. Certainly recall this card because I actually remember liking this art a lot as a kid because I just thought it was super cool that these were robed dudes and they were just transporting a floating artifact. They're two threes for three mana, and that's it. They're not good. Kismet. Excellent. Kajeldurin. Kajeldurin. Warrior. A 1 1 banding for one. More Mesa Pegasus. Nope. Oh, got some more black cards here. Drain Lives. Skeletons. And then, whoop, these are all upside down here. Guardian Angels? Oh, I'm a Mirage Healing Self. I don't recall. I don't know this set's Healing Self. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't remember this one, but hey, a beta version. Very cool. Along with some revised Holy Armor. Cation Javelineers. This guy's awesome. Because it's a 1 1 for 1, but he comes with a, a Javelin counter. And you can tap to remove that counter to deal 1 damage to any target. Just Javelin! So he's like a one-time particle sorcerer. But in white, that's pretty rare, so he's cool. There's another one. Oh, I got a couple of them! A lot of infantry. I actually remember this art a lot just because of this weird kind of watercolor style. I don't know what else to call it. Oh, Acacian Money Changer! This is another card that I had as a kid, but I never used it because I didn't understand it. Because I was a dumbass kid. And to be fair, it was just a lot of text, so I kind of want to read it to... Remind myself what I even actually freaking does. It's a zero two for one, which is pretty good. All right, so he deals three damage to you when summoned. I think that's why I didn't use it. I didn't like taking three damage. But he comes with three credit counters, and during your upkeep, during your upkeep, put one credit counter onto him, and then sacrifice the money changer to gain one life for each credit counter on it, only during your upkeep. So he comes to play with three damage, but three counters, and every turn he gets under counter, and then at some point. During your upkeep, you can sacrifice him to gain all that life back. But if your opponent kills him, then you get no life and you just lose three damage. He's not very good. Occasion Town. Put four citizen tokens into play. Treat these tokens as 1 1 white creatures. For six mana? Jesus! Six mana for four 1 1s. What is this? Indestructible Aura. Oh, the Karma! Look how, look how, look how big and bold that original text is. I think it's a different font style and everything. That is a very old karma. Yeah, compared to this one, again, just a change in language to try to make it a, a little more understandable. It's really fascinating to see. Another smaller stack here, Morale. Order of Lietbur. Protection. They're, oh, they're like a Order of Ebon Hand, only the opposite. Pearl Unicorn, Piety, Pikeman. Oh, a bunch more plates! Yeah! Damping Field. 
Death Ward. Oh, and one more plane's in there. Alright, I think that's finally it for all the white. And then all that's left were gold cards. And for whatever reason, they have gold cards in the game of Chandelar, but specifically for the other game modes. In the actual story mode, they didn't include them at all. But gold cards, for those who don't know, is when a card uh, has a casting cost of more than one color. So this is a black-red card, and they just color it gold. And these didn't start showing up until the later sets. I don't know if I really know any of these. Bark Tooth Warbeard Summon Legend. For four, a black, and two red. For seven total to get a six five. Come on. He's he's like he's a worse than Crawworm, am I right? Dak and Black Blade? Well, you saw it rad. Cost two white, two blue, and a black. So six total. And his power and toughness equals the number of lands you control. Interesting. Dark Heart of the Wood. Sacrifice a forest to gain three life. Dumb. Here's a bunch of it. Jasmine Boreal. Oh, this is actually from the uh, Legend set. So these are all like legendary creatures. A 4-5 for 5 mana. Not good. Gerard of the Closed Fist. A 6-5 for 6 mana. Okay, a little bit better. Marhalt Elves Dragon. Rampage 1. What are you? A 4-6? Marsh Goblins, 1-1, one, one, Swamp Walk. Tobias Andrian. We just came up with names. They don't do anything special other than they have cool sounding names. Scarwood Goblins, Surge of Strength. Choose to discard a red or green card from your hand to give target creature trample and plus X plus O to under turn, where X is equal to that creature's casting cost. Oh, so you like fuel that creature's strength into the target creature. Cool. All right, well, that is... Pretty much all of them, and this was awesome to see and really, really cool. Uh, I'm really, really thankful to Andrew for sending all these because some of these cards kind of still have value. Not a whole lot of them. Like the land specifically, depending on the condition, can still be worth uh, a few bucks. These were a little more played, but you know, that's still not something they just want to easily get rid of. Plus, in all of these, like, there was a freaking beta crawl worm, which I don't even know if I've ever seen before <laughs> until just now. And now I have one. I'm going to keep it forever. So that's all. Uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief trip down uh, memory lane here. And then again, if you want to if you want to have any other request or want to send any other in, uh, I got that P.O. box open now. All right, cool. Thanks again, Andrew. This is really, really cool, and I really appreciate it. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!